Well, I'm, I'm, I'm so impressed with, uh, with uh, <clears throat> the initiative uh, that uh, the government of Rwanda has taken. Within a short time, by the way, it happened, uh, we, we only knew um, four weeks ago, actually literally three weeks ago. But now, this, this is another example that actually it's possible, we can do it. We can arrange an event of this sort, actually even better than Paris. Uh, first of all, as a chairman in London, for the Rwandan community, uh, I was in a panic, a bit of a panic, because it involves a lot of logistics, mobilizing Rwandese people, who actually, you need, you need to convince them to come. But anyway, I mean, it's self-explanatory. When they hear His Excellency, the President of Rwanda, he's here, oh my God. I mean, you can see the whole crowd, all these guys behind me, they've all come to see him, which is, we're all proud of him, yeah. Well, I mean, I like, I like, he's, he's my role model. Um, he's more practical, less words. So do I. So he's my most impart, inspirer. Well, here in London. Okay, I'm going to speak in terms of UK in general. Because at the moment, I jump on the, tr on the tube and the train and I can cover, I can go to different boroughs. I've got friends, all the community leaders that are based in the United Kingdom, they're all my friends. We deal together, we work together, we, we have the same spirit, we, we're very nationalistic, and we love our culture a lot, we love our language, we preach our language at home, and that's where it begins. But when it comes to the region, to the, this part of youth, I think the youth, we need, we, we need to take charge of leading them and showing them the direct path. Show them, look, you've got home, be proud of it. Show that you, you, can, you, you, you can actually improve with the de economic development that is actually taking place at home. There is a lot of things that we see here, but how are we going to get to there? It's we do what we call, I used to call that rank Xerox, copy, cut, copy what you see here and take home. And that is why I always want the youth, I feel, the youth are able. They're, they're very highly skilled. We've got economic policy makers, we've got economists, we've, we've, got, um, we've got civil engineers, we've got um, IT specialists, we've got people who are in nursing care, who, health cares, we've got um, bankers, finance departments. I don't know why they're sitting on, 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 on all this professionalism. There's a lot and the country really needs them. So I think I think it's high time we uplift their spirits up and we give them a path, um, an opportunity. And that's, I think, one of our community leaders' roles. Yeah, um, as you can see, um, one of our youth member, which are re I'm really proud to see him seated next to the president, His Excellency, is Junior Sabena. He is, um, I'm proud of him, first of all. I play football with the youths. I try to, to speak to them, I tell them, look, you can make it, man. You don't have to stay back home. I mean, there's a lot of many other things you can make it. I'm more, cre I'm a, I'm more of a creative person. There is a lot in that industry that can lead to our, to our country in, lo in lots of developments. Combined skills all together with all the youths. Then they can be, they, I think they're missing out and they need to be, be exposed with the, with, the, with, the, with the business exhibitions that do come home. First of all, we've got even mortgages that are actually less compared to England. Yeah, some some of the mortgages in England are 250,000 pounds. Yet at home, we find halfway price. There's still more opportunity. So those are the things. If they can compare and contrast and see what are the most opportunities they can get at home, then I don't see why they have to waste their time here.